Hi everybody, Jonathan here with Bridge City Tai Chi Club and today I want to go over foot placements and angles of foot the way that I like to do it in the Yonk style and I'll explain why I like to do it the way that I do it. So let's get started. Of course you start with your feet shoulder width apart straight forward in yang style well all styles of tai chi start like this bong chi liu ah now from here you want to suspend upward sink into your dantian sink into the claw and then use this area the center of your body to guide not only your arm movements while staying suspended, but your foot movements as well. So from here, you sink into this claw and turn this foot 45 degrees off this line. This is the way that I like to do it. If you turn more than that, then when you step, you're going to have to readjust. So I like to adjust my feet where they need to be for the next move. So here, 45 degrees. Straight, ward off left. Now from here, use your center and turn this foot 45 degrees off that line. There. So now when you scoop in and step, this foot is already in position for Grass Sparrow's tail. Again, ward off left. Here, 45 degrees, grass sparrow's tail. Good. Any position that you find yourself in the form, you want to be in zhang zhuang basically, in transitions. So, let's see. 45 degrees, ward off left. Now when you make this adjustment to 45 degrees off this line, these feet should be now parallel. So you're in a Zhang Zhuang position. And then scoop up Grass Barrel's tail. Same, at the end of Grass Barrel's tail, you're here. You wanna open this foot. For me, I don't like to do this in the transition to single width. I don't like to do that at all. From here, I like to use my center and adjust this foot. So it looks like that. And then when you bring this foot around, now your feet are parallel again so that you can come back here. You're in a Zhang Zhuang position. From here, single whip, and then you can adjust this foot 45 degrees. Again, here for raise hands, adjust this foot so now your feet are parallel again. So from here, raise hands. And now for white crane spreads wings. No matter how you do it, if you do it this way, you want to step so that this foot and this foot are parallel again. So from here, here, parallel, and then white crane spreads wings. If you do it that way, if you do it old, old uh, young style, you can do it this way, bow step, but then when you adjust, make sure that these feet are parallel into crane spreads wings. Bow stance, now this is 45 degrees and you can just step straight into without having to adjust this foot. Bring that up, place it at 45 degrees, play the fiddle and it's already in position to go into the next bow step and brush knee and push. This transition, you just want 
turn from here and turn this foot to 45 degrees. I like to do it to 45. Here, and then sink into your claw and sink into your dantian. And then you don't have to adjust that foot for the next bow stance. If you turn past 45 degrees, 90 here, then you have to step and adjust back to 45. So I like to put my foot in the position that it needs to be in for the next position. Now the, the last one into deflect downward parry and punch. Again, 45 degrees here. 45 degrees here. This is a kick. Whoops, sorry, it's hard to look at the camera to stay balanced at the same time. Kick. 45 degrees. Straight punch. Uh, this transition is the same as the single whip transition. So from here, after a parent close up, you adjust this foot so that it's straight for raise hands. And then adjust this foot. So now your feet are parallel again. This transition, you see a lot of people do that. I don't like to do that. I adjust this foot first and do a ward off here. So this is 45 degrees here and then this foot now they're parallel and you can do carry tiger to the mountain good this transition to uh let's see here carry tiger to the mountain the same thing adjust this foot all the way around 45 degrees and as you go into uh, fist under elbow you want to step so that this foot now is parallel with that foot and you end up with fist under elbow so basically the idea is whatever transition that you're going into you want to make sure that your feet are parallel so that you can maximize Excuse me, maximize song, maximize release into the dantian, into the claw, whatever it is. Could be uh, here from uh, open arms like a fan, right? Adjust this foot. Adjust this foot the same way so that it's straight now. And this foot, now your feet are parallel and you can go there. So here, adjust. And then you can step, carry fist forward, and then adjust this foot. And then that transition again, 45 degrees, so that you can step straight. So no matter where you are in the form, you want to have your feet uh, and knees parallel to each other, parallel to each other, even in transition. So don't twist yourself up. It helps you to maximize release songkai, release outward, release upward by suspending the head. And then when your feet and knees stay in alignment with your hips and shoulders, you can maximize Song downward as well. Thought I'd share that with you. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, just remember, subscribe, like, do all the things that algorithms love if you like these videos on Tai Chi. If not, have a good day anyway, but keep on training. Jonathan out.